Hey, what's up guys? It's Mario here with Junk Removal Money. And I wanted to make this video because I, I listen to a lot of phone calls, a lot of junk removal phone calls, because you know, I manage a lot of Google ads accounts for junk removal companies. And this is something that I've been seeing a trend of. Um, it doesn't really matter how good your marketing is and if you've got the best marketing in the world. Um, if you can't close over the phone, um, it's really kind of pointless. So I kind of want to go over some stuff that I do. I'm not saying that I do things better or right, but this is just what works for me. And these are just some tips on, on how to answer the phone and close customers. So something that I've been noticing with a lot of my um, my clients is that they honestly, they just talk too much and, and uh, they're asking way too many questions. I'll give you some examples. Um, and I, I will I will have recordings for you guys to listen to some of the calls that I take and how, how it is that I answer the phone and um, how I close them. But basically, I'm getting a lot of customers who um, are shooting themselves in the foot. They're saying the wrong things and and they're like big house cleanouts. My biggest things with house cleanouts is don't try to give an estimate over the phone. Don't even give them your truckload prices. Those are just really involved jobs. And in my experience is that when you go out there or when you when you tell them over the phone, and you ask them a million questions of what they got. It's always going to be different when you show up, first of all. And if you tell them your uh, your truckload prices, um, you're really shooting yourself in the foot because you could be making a lot more because when you do a house clean out, you're doing a lot more than just loading the truck. You're going through cabinets, you're going through bathrooms, you're going through you're doing a lot of extra work that you're not getting paid for if you're charging by the load. Now, I know some of you guys don't want to lose money when when you say that you're going to go and bid a, a house at a flat rate because you're you're scared that, that maybe you're, you're going to um, make less. But in reality, what I do is when I answer the phone for these house cleanouts, I just get as little information as I can. Basically, just ask them where, what part of town it's located in, what kind of stuff are we looking at, how big is the house, and when I can meet them there. That's all I say. Just show up. And most of the time when you're in person and, and you charm them and stuff, you're gonna get the job, especially if you know how to sell it. So what I do with those house cleanouts and everybody in the country is different. Everybody has different pricing. Everybody wants to make a different amount of money. But what I do is I picture in my head how many trailer loads or how many truck loads is this job gonna be? And then I add 25% on top because I know that we're gonna be out there a lot longer than, than it would take to do four trailer loads. I know that it's going to be more because the guys are going to be going through stuff and they're going to be putting it in bags and separating stuff. It's just a lot more more time consuming. So that's how I found that you have to bid these jobs. And, and when you answer the phone, just show up. You don't have to know everything in the world. I listened to some phone calls. They're like 15 minute long uh, phone calls and they're asking well, what size are the TVs that are in there? It doesn't matter. Just show up and go look at it. Um, so that's that's my biggest tip for house cleanouts. You just want that address. You want to know what time to meet them out there and um it's just the best way to, to handle those so i'm going to be playing some 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 of my phone calls from yesterday so you guys can listen to them and um if you guys have other pointers for guys um you know i'm not perfect i mean i'm always learning too so if you have pointers for how it is that you answer the phone what works for you um leave it in the comment below i, I appreciate that and um I'm actually going to be adding a section to the course um, about um, how to get commercial accounts. There's a couple other tricks that I do on how to get commercial clients and property management companies. I'm going to be adding that to the course just to let you know. It's over at drunkermovemoney.com. If you don't know what that is, is I offer a Google AdWords course for those of you guys who want to learn how to do it yourself. Um, I do offer Google AdWords marketing services. Like I said, I have other clients that don't want to manage it themselves. They want somebody else to do it for them. They're not really hands-on. So that's something that I still offer. You can you can text me, call me, email me, whatever you want. I'll have my, my, uh, my info down below. But if it's something that you want to learn for yourself and get better at, um, I do offer a course. It's over at drunkablemoney.com. And I'm going to be adding some stuff to that course. Um, it's going to be a section for um, property management companies and how to get them. I also have that junk removal letter over there at the site where you can get it for free. Um, you just enter in your, your email address and your name and you get that letter that I sent out to property managers. And uh, the last thing is I, I'm updating the course now where where, you, where I'm teaching you in the video on how to set up Google ads. Below it, I'm actually adding a section 
where it literally lays out all the ad groups that I that I have and every single um, keyword that I use. So all you have to do is copy and paste everything. I'm making it as simple as possible. Just copy and paste everything that I do and it'll work. Um, so I'm going to play those those calls for you. And, um... Junkable, this is Maya. I can help you. Um, yes. Um, I have some questions about having um, things removed from my apartment. Okay. And I've never done this before. Um, and so, uh, let's see. I um, have a townhouse and um, I want to, um, like, remove everything. Mm-hmm. And um, so it's uh, um, upstairs. Do you guys, like, come in and take things out? Yes, we do. Are, are we looking at, like, um, furniture items, or are we looking, like, at a full house clean out where we have to go into, like, Closet and bag close up, and we have to go into dresser drawers and kitchen cabinets, that sort of thing. Um, sort. Let's see. I might need that help. Um, okay. But um, yeah. So, do you guys do that too? We do do that. So at that point, though, I have to go out and I have to bid the job. Because when it's yeah. a little bit more elaborate like that, I have to see it based, like, you know, hands-on, and then, and then give you a price. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, let's see. Is it, how soon can you come for a quote? What part of town are you in? Um, so, do you know where Cornell and Evergreen is out in Hillsboro? Mm -hmm. Kind of yeah, boring. I'm actually, I'm actually not too, I'm, I'm headed back towards Portland, and I'm in yeah. Newburgh right now, so I can actually stop by back there on my way back into Portland. Do you want me to do that? Sure. Okay. And, so, um, I'd say, I'd say around 30 minutes, I can probably be there in around 30 minutes. Let's take a look at sure. it. Sure. Sure, that sounds really good. Is this a cell phone number? Um, this is, yes. Yeah. Okay, and, so what And my name is Marcia. Okay, Marsha. Well, let me do something. I'm going to send you a text message right now, and then you just yes. reply with your name and address, and then we'll see you in about 30 minutes. Perfect. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. So the call that you guys just listened to, if you noticed, if I would have gave that lady our trailer load prices, I, it would have been somewhere around 400 bucks, um, because that's what we charge for a full trailer. But since it was just a little bit more involved, I was able to sell it for 750 even with it only being one trailer load, that's what I'm expecting to fill. But since I actually went out there, I looked at it, I walked through the through the house, um, I was able to bid it a little bit higher. At, you know, I, I would have lost 350 bucks. So that's what I'm saying, guys. Just go take the time, go look at these places when they say that they have a little house clean out or apartment clean out, whatever it is. Just go look at it. You have nothing to lose. Maybe like an hour of your time, but you can make a whole lot more money. Welcome over this is Mario. How can I help you? Hi, Mario. Um, I needed to see about uh, getting some uh, construction debris cleaned up from one of my job sites. Okay. What part of town have you been? Uh, Tigard. Okay. And what kind of construction debris do you have? Is there anything that is like roofing shingles, belts, plaster, that sort of stuff? Or is it just all like new construction uh, wood? Um, there's a, there's a little bit of, um, uh, comp roofing that's new, um, some new construction, uh, comp roofing, and the rest is all just, um, uh, two by fours, plywood, stuff like that. Gotcha. Okay. No and shoe you looking at, like that. When are you looking to have this done? Um, sooner the better, whenever you've got an opening. Okay. Do you mind if it's next week or do you prefer it to be this week? Um, if you can get it in tomorrow, that'd be great. Uh, Monday will work as well. Junk and this is Mario. Can I help you? Hey, man. Calling to get an idea on what it would cost to have some things hauled away out okay. of my well, garage. First, out of your garage? Okay. Yeah. What kind of stuff do you have? I've got some. We just completed this project upstairs in our house, so there's some leftover drywall pieces of two by four, um, some extra insulation, 
some wood, some old windows, uh, some cardboard, but I could probably put that in my recycling. So forget about okay. the cardboard. Uh, what that kind what of part stuff. of town are you in? Yeah. Northeast Portland uh, by Wilshire Park. Um, okay. And I'm, I'm out in my garage looking at it right now. It's not a garage full of stuff. It's If I could move it all to one area, I could, like, take some photos. That way you could, like, give me an idea of, you know what I mean, okay. what I'm looking at. Yeah, uh, I just have a couple questions. Um, how old is that stuff that is coming out of there? Is it, like, um, drywall? Oh, this like... is... No, this is this is all new construction. So we, okay. uh, yeah, it was uh, it's a Cape Cod house. Use Cape Cod house is just one big open attic. We added a dormer, and then we built in okay. a bathroom space and some closets. So um, new. Okay. Basically, we're based on volume. We'll come out with a dump trailer and two guys, and the dump trailer is twelve feet long, six feet wide, and four feet tall. When we fill up an entire dump trailer, you're looking at 400. Half a dump trailer is 250, and a quarter dump trailer is 150. Okay, got it. That's reasonable. Yeah. How far how far out are you guys booked? Um, so we're looking at sometime next week, probably like a Wednesday or or maybe even Tuesday. Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay, sign me yeah. up, man. Okay, you want to do it? Um, so what yep. I'll do is um, I'll send you a text message, and you just reply by um, confirming with your name and address, and then mm -hmm. we'll get you on the books. Uh, let me look at the schedule really quick, and then in my text message, I can give you a couple options, and you just choose one, and then uh, I shoot, shoot a message back. Perfect. Okay. I'll go so ahead I'm not sure that. if you guys noticed, but something that I do after I hang up the phone is I actually confirm my pickups by sending the customer a text message. And I found that this works the best because if you're an owner operator like me, you're always driving around um, and running from place to place. Um, so it's really hard to stop or, or get pen and paper out to write down their address. So what I found out that works best for me is I send them a quick message right after we hang up the phone, um, just you know having them uh, write, reply with their name and address. That way I can get them scheduled. Um, and it, it just it's a lot easier. I mean, you could try it, see if it works for you, but it, it works great for me. And it's something that I started doing a while back, and I just I like it. All right, guys. So those are my tips for answering the phone. If you have tips of your own, write them in the comments below. I'm always uh, looking to improve myself as as far as um, you know closing more customers and and things in the drunk mobile industry. So um, like I said, guys, you can head over to drunkmobilemoney.com to get your letter, your free letter for uh, property management companies and commercial customers. And if you're interested in learning um, more about Google Ads, like all these phone calls that you guys listen to are all customers that called in from Google Ads and my Google Ads campaign. So if it's something that you're interested in doing for yourself or your business, um, you can either head over to drunkmobilemoney.com and get your course, or you can watch a training video that I have, which I will link, leave a link for right here. Go, go over there and watch that. And I do give you guys more um, insight on uh, Google Ads. Like always, guys, I appreciate you guys watching um, the channel. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you.